Hey guys, and happy Saturday. So for today, as promised, I'm going to be giving these Dollar Tree arch windows a facelift. And for the first facelift, we're going to be, you're going to need um, a cookie sheet or a flat baking pan and some parchment paper or some aluminum foil. And actually aluminum foil works better. I just didn't have any on hand. So you're going to take the arch window and you're going to obviously remove the packaging and then you're going to remove the backing. It comes off really easily. There's just, uh, I think, three screws on the back. So you just unscrew those, pop it out, then put this front part to the side and you're going to use this back piece kind of as a guide. <clears throat> so you're going to need these beads from the Dollar Tree or from wherever but these are the ones from the craft section in the Dollar Tree you can probably get them at Walmart or like a beauty supply store or anything like that but these are like the clear-ish opaque I don't know they're not opaque they're clear beads colorful clear beads I don't know so anyway so you're just going to take the beads and you're going to shape them into the shape of the window and you're going to use the backing, kind of like I said, as a guide, just to make sure that you have the whole um, inside of it filled up so that it, there's no holes, there's no gaps. And you can only see the beads through like the little, the little window parts of it. So once you have those all kind of laid out the way that you want them, you're just going to heat your oven up to 450 and then you are going to stick your pan into the oven for 15 minutes at 450. Now, every oven is different. Mine does. It works at 15 minutes and it comes out perfect at 15 minutes. So that's what I use. Now, of course, you fix it accordingly. So as those are baking, <laughs> I'm going to work on my next one. So same thing. You're going to take the backing off of one of the windows and then you're going to need one of these clear chopping mats from the Dollar Tree. And I found these napkins in the party section and they just reminded me of like mosaic tile or um, stained glass window. So then you're going to cut a piece of the chopping mat the size of the frame. And you're going to take the shiny side face down and then you're going to split the napkin in two or... I don't know how you separate the two sheets because, you know, they're two ply. So you're going to separate it so that it's just the one. I cut out the part where I was trying to separate it, like get the corner started because it took me forever. I could not split it up. It took me forever. So anyway, you're going to take your piece of the chopping mat. You're going to put it over the colorful part and you're just going to cut two pieces that fit the window or the, the chopping mat. Then you're going to take Mod Podge or glue or whatever you have on hand. I have never decoupage before, so this is how I'm doing it, and it worked out fine. So I'm just going to take the Mod Podge and give it a nice coat on the top half to start, and then you're going to do the same thing on the bottom half. And I'm just going to give it a nice, you know, thick coat, and then I'm going to take the napkin with the color side facing down onto the uh, not shiny part of the cutting mat, if that makes sense. Then you're just going to stick it on there. And I'm using my Cricut roller to kind of smooth it out because it does like it, it gets a lot of wrinkles and it kind of bubbles up. So I found this to be the easiest way to kind of smooth it out without, you know, messing it up, even though. On the second part, as you're going to see here, I did it a little bit too much. Like I rolled it just a little bit too much and I ended up messing up the bottom half. But I'm going to show you how to fix it. So see, I kind of peeled off a little bit there. So all I did was I got some Mod Podge, put it on there. And then I took like two pieces of just the pieces that were left over that I had already cut out. I'm just going to put some Mod Podge down and put some of that tissue right on top of it to cover that hole. And that worked fine. It covered it up and you couldn't even tell that it was messed up once it dried. It looked like one, you know, solid piece. So you can do this. You can find this tissue. And if you can't find this one, then you can find, I mean, you can use like 
any napkins and do the same thing, split them apart and then just kind of cut them up into pieces until it looks like stained glass and do the same thing, decoupage them. And if you don't want to use napkins, um, you can just get like glue and food coloring or paint and mix it up into different colors and you can paint your design on there. There's so many different ways that you can do this, but these are just the two that I decided to do. Now, once this dries, this is what it looks like. And like I said, you can't even tell that I messed up down there because it just kind of all blended together. So now all you're going to do is you're going to put this all together and you're going to have to cut like little, um, what do you call them? Just like a little piece on a, a notch on the top and on the bottom so that you can get the screw in because it's a solid piece and well you need a little space unless you just want to go through it with the screw but I just cut out a little notch on the top and on the bottom just so that the screw can fit there now if you didn't want to do that you could just glue it on there but I think that'd be a little bit too messy so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the two notches on the top and the bottom and do it that way just because like I said it worked out easier and it fits in there perfect and once you cut those notches I mean it looks perfect it fits in there the backing goes on and if you don't want to put the backing again you could glue it um, but like I said I think that might get a little bit too messy so I wouldn't recommend that way but if you don't you know if you wanted to use the backing for something else then obviously feel free to do it however you want to and I also thought about using like the clear lid to um, like those pans that they sell at the Dollar Tree. You know how they sell the pan with the clear lid on it. That would work really well too for something like this. It's thin, it's clear. You just need something to kind of, um, you know, use as a base. So you can use that. And then they now have like colorful lids. So you can get the different color lids, cut them up kind of glue those together there's a lot of different ways that you can do this but this worked out great and I got to decoupage which I've never done before <laughs> so I just went ahead screwed the little hanger on there put the bottom screw on there and this is how it turned out I think it's cute and it just added a little touch and I did recenter or I centered that sign because it was kind of messed up but I am here now going to announce the winner to our He Is Risen Easter Hop. And the winner gets a $150 gift card. And it is Miss Molly. And she is the winner. So congratulations. And Miss Molly, please contact me so that I can send you your gift card. Now, our beads have melted and they are nice and hot. <laughs> so I'm going to take these out the oven and once they cool off and dry, it looks amazing. And it actually feels like a piece of glass, like a thick piece of glass. It even sounds like it. Now, if you can see right there on the top corner, I must have missed a bead or moved a bead or something because there's a little gap, but it doesn't look too bad. What I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to show you how it looks in this frame, but I ended up using the bead um, part in my old frame not old as if I've had it forever but I made a frame or redid a frame in a previous DIY and I will link that down below and I put a little shelf on it and everything I actually ended up putting this piece in that frame and what I did was I kind of did glue just a little bit once you put that glue on there it sticks perfectly like it and it sticks quick so if once you put that hot glue on there, just make sure you drop it right where you want it because it sticks really, really quick and it sticks well. So I love, love, love the way that this looks and see the parchment paper stuck to the back of it, but it wasn't a big deal. Um, it didn't look too bad and it just looks a lot better when you use a foil so that there's nothing, it's translucent, you can see you can't really see through it, but the light shines through it a lot better. And you can use this method to make sun catchers. This would look really great in a window. So this is what it looks like in all three of the frames that I used them in. And guys, I hope you like them. And until next time, be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. 
and congratulations to Miss Molly for winning the He Is Risen Hop. Bye.